<sighs> Fuck! I almost drowned on camera. I almost drowned on camera. I feel like, I feel like it's weird with this, with this here, right? I feel like it's weird. A lot of you guys are probably immediately wondering, hey, where is the black background? Why aren't you in the middle of the black abyss anymore, Omni? It's right here. Here it is. Here it is. Here is the stupid black background that I have been stuck behind for the past 10 years. This is it. This is it. Stupid fucking stupid. No more. Now I'm on my desk. Now I got, I got monitors. I can play video games. I can react to shit, you know? I, I got a mic. I got a mic. I can whisper and you can still hear me. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Before I get into anything, let me just start off by saying, hi. It's been quite a while since we've talked face to face. It's, it actually took a really long time to get this whole thing set up. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it took a while. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hi first because, you know, it's common courtesy and why the hell not? First, I'm gonna outline what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today because you guys know I like to ramble. So I need to, you know, put myself within these parameters of what it is I'm gonna talk about so this doesn't end up becoming a 20 minute video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about three topics. Number one, the old Omni, AKA what was. Number two, my current feelings towards Smash. And number three, the new Omni, AKA what is next. If none of these topics interest you in the least bit, then uh, you, you clicked the wrong video. <laughs> Over the past few months since I started this whole Late Omni video series binge, I've been seeing a lot of comments pop up on my videos that, you know, basically resemble, I miss the old Omni. Where the skits at, Omni? Where the smash at, Omni? Where's the high quality at, Omni? Where are the dick pics, Omni? Huh? Uh, what? What? Mm -hmm. what? Huh? Where's the funny at, Omni? Where's the edge at, Omni? Where are the vlogs at, Omni? For real, I don't know why people are asking about Omni. I killed him a long time ago. Did you guys not see that elaborate high quality video of me a while back where I just basically killed Omni? The truth is that I am not Omni. I have never been Omni. Omni is whoever you want him to be, and that's why I'm Omni. So I'm gonna keep it real with you guys in this video, okay? First of all, fuck quality content. I'm over here spending four days staying up until like 2 a.m., waking up at 6 a.m. to edit a video, only to have most people skip it so they can watch another Can Sonic run faster than a Bullet Bill video. Newsflash, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Of course he can, butthole. To be honest, I'm not about that life anymore. That's how I got burned out in the first place. Quality I'm looking for now is less about how long it takes to make a video and more so about the substance of the video, you know? Like this coffee right here. No, but for real, look, I'm, I'm right there with you, okay? I miss the old Omni as well. I miss the I'm hungry, I want a million subscribers Omni sacrificing all the time he barely has to make for the sake of being able to make more and better content for you guys so he can do this for the rest of his life Omni. But the old Omni's dead, okay? The path that old Omni took was not sustainable for everyday life. The thing is that the old Omni made content that people wanted to see, you know, and he catered to his audience. The new Omni, he still makes content that people want to see, but he caters more to what he wants to create. It feels weird constantly talking about myself in like third person. Here's a piece of advice for any of you aspiring YouTubers out there right now watching. There's a difference between what people say they want to watch and what they actually watch. Moving on, number two, my current feelings towards Smash. Yeah, I'm not gonna like this. First of all, fuck Smash. <laughs> Y'all not tired of playing the same goddamn game day in and day out? Am I the only one? What is wrong with you people? I, la, 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 la. Imagine there's a restaurant, right? Five star reviews. It can make every food on the planet, every gourmet dish on the planet perfectly. And you got a group of people who only orders bread. It's some bomb ass bread, but they only order bread. Well, eventually the waiter's like, hey, hey, we got other stuff. We got like, we got meat, we got pasta. We got, we got pizza, we got sausage. And this person's like, nah, I'ma just, I'ma get the bread. And the, the guy's like, are you sure? Because that's only one thing on the menu. There's like a hundred thousand things on the menu. We're good at all of them, are you sure? And the dude, <laughs> and the other guy's like, I want the bread. Give me the, give me the goddamn bread. <laughs> I can't eat bread every day. I mean, the bread is good. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not knocking the bread. The bread is good, but I can't eat it every day. I need diversity to satisfy my palate. I know that some of you guys are here for the bread, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not knocking that. That's totally fine. But some of you out there want me to eat bread for like the rest of my life. Like I've been eating bread for like seven years. And when I stop eating bread, people are like, what the chicken, Steven, chicken. How how dare you? I can't believe this dude won't eat bread for more than seven years. All right, let's, let's stop with the bread analogy. Another thing is, um, and, and don't take this personally, but smashers get on my fucking nerves. 
<laughs> it's not all of y'all. It's like, it's most of y'all. First of all, there's a group of Smashers where like all they do is talk about Smash. I can't do that no more, okay? We discussed that already. That was the whole bread situation. Then there's a group of Smashers where all they do is just shit on your opinions. These Smashers don't even have an opinion. Like they just exist solely to shit in your mouth as soon as you open it. And then finally, there's a group of Smashers that are just so toxic that they've just permanently left a bad taste in my mouth. These are the cloud chasing, attention whoring, edgy fan base that exists just to ruin your day. There's a lot of them in the Smash community. I don't know why, they just, they just exist. And for some reason, I can't seem to rid myself of like this infestation of them. You know, like it's like a, a sticker, like, you know, those old ass stickers that you put on the fridge or somewhere or you put on your lunchbox and you want to take it off, but you had it on there for a really long ass time. And as you try to peel it off, it just, it just doesn't come off. That's what it, <laughs> that's what it feels like. So yeah, that's how I feel about Smash. I, I still enjoy it. I still get hype, but I plan on keeping a healthy distance between me and Smash. Whatever that means. And finally, number three, the new Omni, AKA what you see right now. Look, believe it or not people change, okay? There are things about me that haven't changed, but there are also things about me that have changed. For example, like over the years, I feel like I've finally mellowed out like quite a bit. Now my 13 year old edge only comes out in small bursts as opposed to like 75% of the time. As you may or may not have seen, I've taken a much more relaxed, you know, chill vibe to this channel. I I'm trying to become the living personification of lo-fi hip hop beats to study and chill to basically. You probably won't see me go crazy unless something legit crazy does actually happen. This calm version of myself is kind of the flow that I've been going with and I kind of like it. So it's uh, here to stay for a bit. Another thing is that I'm actually done trying to be funny. Like if you laughed at all in this video at this point, then that's awesome. I didn't intend it. If you, if you laughed anywhere before this point in the video, Comedy has always been an important aspect of my life and, you know, as a person. So forcefully trying to make people laugh here on this channel and even outside is just something that's always been a recurring theme. But if I'm being honest, constantly trying to be forcibly funny is just, it's, it's way too mentally exhausting. I feel like that's why stand-up comedians, like they repeat their acts, you know, they kind of recycle their same jokes because trying to reinvent humor every single day is, is for me at least, you know, trying to forcibly make people laugh every day is, is hard. <laughs> it's not fun and it gets forced sometimes. It's like, it's like Saturday Night Live, but like worse. There's this self-imposed expectation that I have from you guys where, you know, I get on the, the mic or I get on the camera and I'm, you know, instantly trying to make you laugh and I, I don't want want to set myself up for that expectation anymore, okay? I just don't. Also, trying to be funny when you're like stressed, tired, or you're depressed, it can, it's, it's kind of hard. It's like climbing up a mountain, to be honest. But at the same time, I've found that some of my best humor does come when I'm in my darkest places. So there's that. So yeah, don't laugh anymore, okay? If you laugh or you smile, it is now your fault because it is not my intention to do any of those things, okay? Stop smiling right now. Okay? No smiling aloud, no laughing aloud. If you didn't smile or laugh before this point, then good. Keep up the good work. Whoa. Hmm, what else? Uh, I'm still a troll. I still like talking shit. I still like video games. I still like anime. I still like to self-sabotage. It's why I personally enjoy making unpopular opinions or, or deviating from the status quo. I honestly don't want an audience who's only here as long as I'm talking about a specific kind of thing. So occasionally I say things or make specific kinds of videos like the one I did yesterday that get people to unsubscribe because I just don't want those people as my audience. It's just it's a system that I put in place <laughs> to just weed out people that I just don't want watching my content. I know it sounds kind of stupid, kind of crazy, kind of backwards for someone who's trying to grow on YouTube, but I guess I never want to get stuck in a place where I'm making content for the wrong people. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. In terms of this channel, I'm still going to be continuing with the Lay It Omni series. Still going for the whole chill, relaxed vibe thing. You know, kind of like the lo-fi hip hop version of Keemstar, you know? <laughs> I, yeah, I still love drama too, so that's not going anywhere. I, I love talking about it. It's just... I just can't. I don't want to be in it, but if I see it, I gotta talk about it. But I also want to keep things kind of simple as well. I have this bad habit of starting a project at like a basic level and then inserting like impossible, crazy ideas in between and then making the entire process so complicated that I just fizzle out and die and I just don't do it in general. I don't want to do that. I'm keeping things basic, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to make it so that I can that I can be consistent on this platform. Circling back to the original topic of this video, but I miss the old Omni too, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I miss him. Old Omni had a lot more time and a lot more patience with this platform, okay? He was obsessed with the concept of becoming big enough to be a full-time YouTuber. Years of that obsession, whether you achieve it or not, is it's, it's hella unhealthy. If it happens, it'll be a pleasant surprise as more of a do or die trying. But yeah, if you're still unsure about what's gonna be happening on this channel, even 
after this video and my explanation. Uh, the TLDR of it is that I'm just gonna be talking shit. <laughs> Same thing as usual, just a different format. Okay, that's it. I feel good. I feel I feel good for for getting that off my chest. Yeah, I feel great. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I did really miss you guys. Like I feel like when I'm not making content, like when I'm not creating videos or when I'm not, you know, speaking to you guys, like something is is missing in my life. I know that's it's weird, but maybe because I've been doing it for so long at this point that when it's just not there, then I feel like something is kind of missing. So it does feel really good to be back in a way like this, even though I haven't really gone anywhere, but you know what I'm talking about. Do me a quick favor though, before you go, consider this video like a roll call type video, okay? I'm kind of interested to know how many of you guys are actually engaged and how many of you guys actually really care about this kind of content. So if you're watching the video, if you watch the whole thing, leave a like, that'll be my little roll call thing. In the comments below, let me know what kind of content that you want to see now. I got a monitor here, I got a monitor here, I got a mic here, I can whisper, I can do ASMR. Just, I want to make more stuff. I'm going to play some games, I want to do all of it I actually have a playlist designed for just this. So uh, yeah, look forward to that in the future and let me know in the comments below any kind of ideas that you have because I'm about to go to town on some kind of content as long as it's fun. So yeah. All right, guys. I love you guys. I will see you in the next episode. Have an awesome day.